Hello there and welcome to this presentation of the Beowulf Manuscript, published by Harvard Univers University Press and it is part of the Dumbarton Oaks Medieval Library series. The Beowulf Manuscript, which is the second codex of the Novel Codex, which is the second part of the of another <laughs> old English manuscript, which is one of four poetic manuscripts. This Beowulf manuscript contains a, uh, not just Beowulf, but other texts as well. I'm going to show them right here. We have the Passion or the Life of Saint Christopher, who was a martyr killed uh, in the reign of uh, the Roman Emperor Decius in the third century. Probably, we're not sure. Uh, the, wonder, the Wonders of e <laughs> the Wonders of the East, which is. Uh, a description of faraway lands and uh, fantastic inhabitants written in the thousand AD around there. Uh, we have a letter <laughs> of Alexander the Great uh, to Aristotle. We have Beowulf, the old English epic poem that most of you probably are familiar with and which I have read. I've only read Beowulf in this, in this manuscript. And we have Judith which is a, po a poetic retelling uh, of a part of the book of Judith, which is uh, not part of the Hebrew Bible, but uh, it is included in the C Catholic and the East Orthodox Church and the Bible. So, uh, and I think it's apocrypha for the Protestants as well. And it's part of the Septuagint, also the Greek uh, translation of the uh, Old Testament. And then we have in the appendix The Fight at Finsburg, which is a poem that's quickly about the contents of this book. It has a very nice, high quality uh, dust jacket, nice colors. And there's a lot of books in this series, I have to say. Uh, and it has the really sweet spot of uh, medieval literature that I enjoy. It has uh, some. Uh, Byzantine text, it has Old English text, it has Latin text, uh, Byzantine Greek, I should say. So, underneath the dust jacket, we have a cloth bound book. They look very similar to Everyman's Library books. So, uh, that's a good thing, I think. Uh, pretty much the same quality as well. So, a nice spine, you can see Harvard uh, here. And I forgot to mention that this book is edited and translated by R.D. Falk. Here are the text on the dust jacket. I think this is the third volume they publish in the Dumbarton Oaks um, Medieval Library series. We get some nice, very rich purple and papers. Here is the title page. And we get the introduction. And it goes through all of the texts that are in this uh, volume. So here we have the first, The Passion of St. Christopher. And this volume do contain the Old English text at uh, the left and the English translation at the right. So all everything in this volume is both in Old English and in the English translation. And that's one of the really act attractive things about the Dumbarton Oaks Library. All of the all of their volumes do contain the original text as well. Uh, the paper is acid-free, pH neutral, very cream colored, very smooth. The text size is uh, quite large. You can see numbers for the lines as well. At the end we get an index, bibliography, notes to the translations, notes to the text. And yeah, here's the fight at the Finsburg. And it has its own introduction, which is very nice. The binding itself, it's a hybrid binding, so it has uh, sewn, uh, sewn signatures and it's not smooth sewn. But still, very, uh, very nice quality for the price you get. Uh, here's the ribbon, dark blue. Quite nice, quite nice. Yeah, 
that's that's the book